Hi everyone, it's Alyssa from WSRU TV. I'm here with Evan Peters. Many of you know him from American Horror Story. So Evan, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing great, how are you doing? Good, I'm doing well, thanks. Good. So what initially got you interested in acting? Have you always been interested in it or did something? Um, I guess I just wanted to be a part of it. I mean, just being an actor and, and um, getting involved, you know, being in front of the camera and acting and I, I always, I always really appreciated how you know actors like Tom Hanks and uh, you know Leonardo DiCaprio, all these guys could change themselves and be somebody else in front of the camera so convincingly, which was I, the, the biggest challenge I think to acting. So I always really wanted to do that and try to be a part of that. So that's I think what what is driving me the most. I think. Yeah, definitely, yeah. awesome. So you've worked on movies and with television. Mm -hmm. Do you prefer one over the other? I would say, I mean, I like them for different reasons. I think movies um, are de definitely, you know what you're shooting. It's more definite, some of them anyway. And uh, I think it's its nice to have a beginning, middle, and end. And television is more by the seat of your pants. Like you kind of, um, there's no end. And you don't even know the middle. So you're kind of going on your instincts and you don't really know what's what's up around the corner. So you kind of just have to wing it. And there's something, something that's exhilarating about jumping into that and doing that. But uh, um, yeah, I think both of them are cool. Very nice. Yeah. So I saw in an, in an interview that you've done previously, you said you mentioned that in American Horror Story, sometimes you didn't get the script until the night before filming. Yes. Uh, how did you feel about that? Um, it's a little bit <laughs> frustrating, I think, uh, because you, you want to make the right choices for the show and for the character, and you want to have it be great you know, for the audience. So it's, it's frustrating that you don't get to make those choices uh, that are well thought out. You kind of just, like I said, have to go on your instinct and your gut and just kind of get out there, you know? Do you go, you're sort of living the show as it's given to you in a way, you know, living your character because you're just kind of, I don't know, you think, I think you just have to know your character and then just sort of go with it, yeah. if that makes any sense. Yeah, it does, because no, okay. you want to plan and you want to, right. like you said. Right, but you yeah. really don't have any time to do that, so you kind of have to just go with what you've shot before mm -hmm. and what you know and then just sort of just act, I guess, in the moment and then now. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So each no, it does. It does. <laughs> I understand what you're saying. <laughs> so in each in each season, season one, two, and three of American Horror Story, your characters are completely different. Yeah. Which one uh, was your favorite to play? I would say um, I think this one is honestly my favorite to play because it's this it's the scariest. I mean, for me because it's so. Um, it's so crazy. I mean, he's, he's he's way more emotional than Tate was, and he uh, or Kit, and uh, it's just crazy the stuff that that I have to do as this person, and uh, I can't speak, and I I have to communicate non-verbally, so I'm sort of going through the script and sort of trying to write out you know how I'm gonna try to convey you know what my character is going through without being able to speak so that's that's been a huge challenge and I love that I think that that's really fun right yeah, yeah that is cool yeah so have you ha had any trouble preparing for some of these roles yeah definitely um, <laughs> each, each one has been incredibly difficult and challenging um, mm -hmm. um, all of them for their for their own reasons the first one yeah, yeah just because it was new and I didn't know what I was doing and, and actually everyone I don't know what the hell I'm doing I'm just kind of winging it really yeah. Yeah. But you definitely, you definitely pulled it off, so that's Thank good. You. Thank you. <laughs> it's your job. <laughs> Thanks. So fans not only love the show, but they're obsessed with the show. Did you see it as getting, did you see the show becoming as successful as it is now? No, I didn't. They, when I went out on the audition originally, they said it was Ryan Murphy and everything he touches turns to gold. And I was mm -hmm. like, okay, I mean, we'll see, you know, I mean. Yeah. It's a cool show. I like the I like the idea. The premise is good. The first script's good, mm -hmm. and then I mean, it just I kept getting the scripts, and they were getting better and better, and and then you know people started, you know, the show aired, and people started really liking the show, and yeah. I started, I was just blown away by how much people like this show. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I can't even fathom it. It's really cool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure. And then the fourth season's coming out. Yeah. 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 Not too soon. When is it? Yeah. Like 2014. Yeah, I guess I read next somewhere. Year. Yeah. So we'll start. So that's exciting. Yeah. I don't even know if I'm on it yet, but hopefully, fingers crossed. I'm sure crossed, you will be. That'd be awesome. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So you're currently working on the X-Men movie, Days of Future Past, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you're well, working. I'm done working on it. You're done working. Well, so, yeah. but you've worked alongside Jennifer Lawrence and Hugh Jackman. What was it? What was that experience like? Um, it was really surreal and just kind of, I was a nervous wreck because yeah. they're so cool and like, 
I I loved the the first one, first class, and and working with James McAvoy, and mm-hmm. I was just it was just unbelievable. I was really trying to hold it together the whole time, and uh, yeah, just watch them work. Like I mean, Hugh Jackman had been nominated for an Oscar, and and uh, Fassbender. Where I worked with Fassbender a lot. That was awesome. he's the coolest guy in the world, by the way. Yeah. He's really super cool, and uh, it was awesome just to see them work, and 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 I just try to keep my my ears open and my mouth shut. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're taught to do, That's right? That's what I was taught to do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. So yeah. what can everyone look forward to seeing from Evan Peters in the future? Um, I don't know. I don't know. No. What do you, in what way? What do you mean? Just in any, any, anything. What would you like to do in the future? Oh. In terms of, you know, acting. Oh. Well, I just want to keep doing different things, different roles, roles that are... Uh, things that I haven't done before, things that are challenging. Mm-hmm. Also some things that are just fun to do, you know, like lighthearted things that would just yeah. be nice to show up to work and, you know, laugh and have a good time. That would be fun to do too. Yeah. Um, and uh, hopefully direct one day. There you go. That'd Maybe be awesome. Maybe a director. Yeah. That'd be cool. Very cool. If you can dream it, you can do it, right? That's right. Yeah. If there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, exactly. Right. Well, I thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right, everyone. Evan Peters from American Horror Story. This is Alyssa Serencioni with WSRU-TV.